welcome to the land of the giant. We've made it to the Walpole Norn Lup National Park and we are here today seeing some of the tallest and rarest trees in the world. I'm not impressed. It's raining. Raining. I've come all the way around the world to get rain. Get that in England. It's barely raining. It's a little bit grey. So I'm pretty proud of John today. We're doing the Valley of the Giants treetop walks yeah, and he does this, not do hikes. This is definitely harder than that like little tree that Jess climbed the other day anyway. <laughs> you can actually feel it bounce, yeah, it's crazy. Shh. <laughs> oh my God. How are you feeling? 40 metres above the ground, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> keep looking down, what am I doing that for? Get walking, get walking. <laughs> I don't know if he's getting braver or he just wants to get down. <laughs> Got to admit, it's pretty beautiful though. <laughs> you hold on, love, you hold on. Easy peasy to do now, isn't it, Jess? Because <laughs> we're about three metres off the ground. <laughs> Tell him. <laughs> I love that you're still holding the rail three metres <laughs> off the ground. <laughs> I convinced him to go again. That's how much she's rocking. Well, we're still alive anyway. There was on it literally no risk of death. Honestly, like, I see my life flash between my eyes a few times. Flash between your between eyes? Between my eyes, yep. <laughs> but um, this woman kept stopping in front of me as well and taking selfies like in the middle of the bridge as well. Tell you what, I nearly hi, hi, like, a few times, I tell you. But, uh, but the road going to it is pretty epic as well. The road, Valley of the Giant Road, so. Yeah. It's a pretty cool road name, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, well. I feel like it's something out of Harry Potter. Yeah. But, uh, but they had my pants down as well. They charged me $21 to go and scare the living daylights out of me. Yeah, I think like 21 bucks. I was a bit umming and ahhing whether to do it. But it was brilliant. And if you think about the fact they like had to build it and pay for the staff and everything, the maintenance, I think it's definitely worth it, don't yeah. you? Yeah, especially because we took a souvenir. Because I don't know if you can see it or not, but look at my hands. <laughs> I took half the railing with me as well. You should have seen his arms all like gripping on the way. <laughs> I reckon this will do, eh? Pretty good to me. What a spot, eh? We've got the van on the beach. What are you doing? <laughs> Just get it done. We gotta get it done. So we found a beauty little spot here again. I think it's my new, new favorite place for Australia. It's called Peaceful Bay. I keep calling it Lucky Bay, but it's Peaceful and Bay. And he's breaking my brain, he's <laughs> calling it Lucky Bay. Oh my days. But what a spot, eh? Uh, yeah, I mean, it lives up to its name, apart from John doing my nothing. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, Jess thinks she's a bit of a local, waving to all the four-wheel drive. They keep coming past. Yeah, but, loads uh, of mates. Look yeah. at that beauty ring. Of course you want to be my friend. <laughs> But um, I'm dead excited as well, because this afternoon we're going to go into Lucky Bay now. Oh, now I'm calling it Lucky Bay. <laughs> Peaceful Bay, we're going to go in Peaceful Bay. And the only thing in Peaceful Bay is a fish and chip shop, but it's supposed to be the best in WA. Yeah, so we're going to spend our time here at Lucky Bay. Peaceful, and, uh... <laughs> Peaceful Bay.
So since we've been away, Jess has been a bit slacking, isn't you? The old foot massage. I haven't had foot massage for, for months now. Oh, I gave him one the other night when I was up editing and he was snoring. So I've better a foot massage that whoever can run in the water, dive in and get back first gets the, f f uh, the foot massage, yeah? Yeah, but every time we do a bet, you always renege when I win. No. Nah. But, and I'll give her a five second head start because she is slow. <laughs> I am pretty slow. Let's do this. Let's do this. So I want to count to five, and then when I get to five, I'm running after you. You're cheating. I won't. Okay. Wait there, wait there, wait there. Right, back to the table first. You ready? Get in front of it. Get in front of it. Wait till five. You ready? Right, go. One, two, three, four, five. I'll get you in my best shot. You go. <laughs> You've got to be able to do a better one than that. Right. Come on, I'm proper. My It might be good fish and chips, but we'll never know because I am not paying 27 bucks a portion for fish and chips. What a tight ass. Chicken curry for us. So we didn't end up getting fish and chips. We didn't end up getting curry. We ended up with kebab and chips. Mm -hmm. so we drove, drove to Denmark and um, yeah, I think we're going to stop here for the night, aren't we? Mm -hmm. And eat our delicious kebabs. Yeah. Oh God. Smashed it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to smash him in a minute. We smashed it. <laughs> I'm getting, I'm quite enjoying these like 10 takes really. I'm not. <laughs> I'm really not. This is not. Um... But anyways, we can't film us eating. Oh. If you ever notice that we don't really see us eating, that's because we can't film it. Because Jess is so noisy when she eats. I'm not. You heard the other day oh. when she drunk, you heard, you heard that. No and you noise. heard and you saw the. You heard no noise. Swilling no. around her mouth. No. Well, this is what it's like when she's eating. Again, it's not. Her mouth shut it's again. But like no that. other human being has ever had a problem with the way I eat apart from you. We can't eat dinner at home without because the of you. Without the TV oh. going because I lose my rag. No, you've got that misphonia thing or whatever it's so. called. So. Oh, it does. <laughs> so annoying. Right, we better find a park out before I punch him. It's meant to be 28 degrees today, so I'll give you two guesses, in fact one guess where we're going. The beach. The beach. That way. That way. Elephant rocks, please. You seen by the sign, we are at a place where you go elephants rocks one way and greens pool the other, which is just outside of Denmark. Um, they're supposed to be incredible beaches, so let's see if they live up to their hype.
pool do live up to the hype. Um, it's incredible how a place can be so rugged and wild and so serene at the same time. Absolutely beautiful. Um, it's surrounded by these massive great big granite rocks and I think they're really what makes this place. It looks absolutely beautiful and I'm desperate to get in for a snorkel. Waiting for the sunshine. Waiting for the sunshine. Honestly, right, this trip, we keep going to places and thinking, that's it, like, that's the highlight, we're never going to see anything as good as this again. Yeah. And then, we come to a place like this. Everywhere we go, we think, oh, let's just stay here for a bit, let's yeah. stay here. And then we go somewhere else and go, I'm glad I left there, let's just stay here. <laughs> it's amazing. Never seen little baby calves like that. Honestly, like this big, I'm not exaggerating the tininess of them. Mm. Absolutely incredible. Seen plenty of dolphins, but never calves. And yeah, like as we was driving down, same usual. Ah, stop! I see dolphins! I leapt out the car, grabbed the GoPro, I just left him. Run, legged it down the beach. Oh, because they were surfing. It's yeah. just amazing. Well, the, one of the blokes I was speaking to, he reckons that they might have been like um, hunting. Yeah, because they chase them into the shore, don't they? Yeah, but uh, but they're still there now. They've been there for like oh well, Ages. we've been here for well over an hour now. And um, I was well and truly wrinkly when I got out. The water. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jess went bodyboarding with them, and like they come up quite close, didn't they? They swam under me. Yeah. I was. I, I apologised for the shock because I was so excited and nervous at the same time. I didn't put the thing in the water at the right time. But yeah. anyway. But no, unbelievable. Yeah. But what else is unbelievable is Jeff left. Just left a rashy at the other beach. Yeah, so I did. We gotta go. Yeah, we've got to go back that way anyway. It's fine. It'll be nice and dry. Yeah. <laughs> Sorted. She was still there. It's just, it's one unique, one special vibe. So we're off to do the most boring thing in the world: Oop. shopping, food shopping. Food shopping. But I've got a little project for shopping. you. I've got a little project. I'll try and find someone without any shoes on. I don't think I left it look very hard, but. Project Shoe Watch. You're in these bloody shoes. Shoe Watch. Got my first one. Well, that was a success, wasn't it, Jess? Oh, you did my bloody head in the I gave up counting after about seven because uh, all the shop staff started looking to be a bit weird. Going around filming people's feet like a total weirdo. <laughs> and Jess wouldn't help either. She was being boring. I kept saying, like, keep dog, and she wasn't keeping dog. So, but, like, it's weird. There's no, like, one culprit for it. Like, there's old people that do it, there's young people, there's men, there's women. So it's hard to, like, gauge who's actually doing it. Lucky I'm a patient woman. Do you think they just don't have shoes? John, I'm trying to play fridge Tetris. Stop going on about the shoes. I'm not going to get excited about your weird no shoes. The people want to know about the shoe situation. They really don't. Please tell us, are you into this weird ass shoe thing that John's got going on? He's doing my head in. Cooking a little recipe that we picked up on the road the other day. We'll show you that footage now. So we're driving down this track, middle of nowhere, look. That way, nothing. That way, nothing. 
What do we come across? A little fruit stall. Let's go check this bad boy out, hey? So, cherry tomatoes and a cucumber. Cheaper than the shops. But my favorite bit is these little uh, meal packs that he does. So it's got all the spices and stuff in it to make it. And came with this recipe stapled to the top. So we just need to buy a couple of little bits from the shop to make it and that's our dinner sorted. We even loved it so much we wrote him a little note that we're gonna leave. I forgot to show you the best part. I um, was desperate to get the curry paste thing, but I didn't have enough money. And John went, don't worry, I've got it sorted. Paid for it out of all the coins that we found laying around the van when we did it up. So the old beauty bus bought us dinner. Tell you what, it's nice, but old Ralphie likes his spice, doesn't he? Oh, you can see him. <laughs> Did you lock the van, Jess? Yep. Have you got that water up there? No. Alright, I'll get it. Okay, thanks, love. Morning. Morning. I don't know why I'm covering my. <laughs> yeah, you don't have anything to cover. <laughs> <laughs> Little mandibles. If only you woke up that chirpy every morning, eh, Jessica? <laughs> it's never a morning. It's always a. Oh, oh. But um, not the noise I'll quickly show you where we stopped last night, though, because uh, we'll show you that van life isn't always the luxury. Because um, we're just in a lay-by, but we're allowed to stop here. But I don't know where we are again. I asked, asked Jess, but uh, yeah, we're allowed to stop here. This shire is real good actually, because they um, they say camping's not. If you don't get your awning out, your chairs out and all that sort of stuff, it's not camping. So just the night and going in the morning is all right. So thank you very much. Like one of them uh, barristers. Barista. Barista, same thing. <laughs> We're back. And we are sweaty. Yeah. <laughs> we're in Parongunup National Park and we're doing the Granite Skywalk. Um, it's been pretty epic scenes. However, I am seriously huffing. I haven't found you any shoes yet. Oh my God. The and fuck? it looks like everyone that's been passed is wearing them. So we're all good at the minute. <laughs> Sick of Jess bringing on things like this. <laughs> I'm not going around there. John's gone back. It was, it was too much, but we thought the drop was big at the Valley of the Giants treetop. Look at this. Ooh, baby. <laughs> He's happy boy now. Solid ground. <laughs> but, uh, if anybody's scared of heights, they'll know what a lot of that feeling's like. But uh, I can't even explain how, how yeah, how it makes you feel really. But um, it's amazing what your brain can do to you. Like yeah. we were on solid ground, yet my legs were still wobbling. Yeah. It's and just crazy. I know engineering. I know that it's all solid. Like, like there was a two-year-old, nearly three. I love you know, that doing it. So um, you know what I mean? It's only mind over matter. But I couldn't go around. I went halfway around and bailed because yeah, it's just not for me. I just don't see the 
I don't enjoy it. It scares me, I don't like it, and it's not like I'm gonna do it and then I'll be all right from then on in. So, uh, yeah. But I, I was so impressed with all the kids we saw doing it. Like, there's loads of kids, seven and under, yeah. smashing it, yeah. little legends. And, um, and obviously the scenery is beautiful. So if you wanna come and do it, do it. But um, I'll just watch it on the TV from now on. So we made it to Bluff Knoll. Wow, she is a beauty. Yeah, everything from the road up to it, to the trees, to the, the long straight gravel roads, like unbelievable. And then yeah. when you get here, and it was beautiful to begin with, and then as the sun set, this cloud is just sort of like falling over it. And it's it, like a waterfall, yeah. it's magic. I've never seen anything like it, so unbelievable. Yeah, so I think that's a great way to finish an incredible couple yeah. of days, eh? Yeah, but uh, we might go and climb it tomorrow. It just depends what the weather's like because yeah. um, it's meant to be a bit windy and a bit uh, misty. Uh, is it misty tomorrow? Cl cloudy, really yeah. cloudy. So obviously we don't want to climb all the way up it and then only be able to see the inside of a cloud. So. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, yeah, hopefully it's not and um, we can get up there and see some epic scenes. So, But uh, thanks for watching again. We really appreciate it and uh, we'll see you in the next one. See ya.